Hello, my name is Karen and I'm currently working my way through the challenges in the Khan Academy HTML JavaScript Making Web Pages Interactive course. And this is the second to last challenge. Woohoo! Almost done. Uh, and this challenge was pretty tricky for me. I've worked through it a couple times now just so I can make sure I, I actually uh, have a more solid understanding of it. Um, so if it gave you trouble too, hopefully this video will help you out. So what do we need to do first? We need to make it start. So the directions say, in this challenge, you'll turn this web page into a simple stopwatch. First, use set interval to call the countup function. Then add code to the countup function that increments the value of the hashtag second span by one each second. Cool, okay, so we have this text here. Zero seconds have gone by and we have the stop button. Okay, it seems like they've given us a lot of code already. So let's find where we want to change some stuff. All right, so it says first use set interval to call the count up function. Hmm. Okay, so where is our count up function? All right, that's right here, count up function. Okay, it's currently empty. Uh, we also have this variable seconds, which is storing the element that has the seconds ID, which appears to be this span right here, which is our zero. Okay, that's this. That's what we want to change. All right, so the zero is being stored in this seconds variable. And then we have our count up function, which is currently empty. All right. I know it says to first use set interval to call the count up function, but it seems easier for me to put something in here first because I want to know as I'm going through what I'm changing and how, what I'm animating. Okay, so what, what do I want to change? I want to change the seconds variable. More specifically, I want to change the text content. Okay. And one issue I have is that I can say um, change the text content minus one, but this is actually not a number. So I can say go down one each time, but I can't actually say that because this is not a number or go up one each time because this is not a number. It's actually text, so it would just, I actually did this before, and it would just be 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 each time. Uh, it would actually add 1 to the text already there. This is not what we want. We want this to actually be a number that just goes up and changes to 1, and then 2, and then 3 each time. So in order to do that, we have to change this 0 from a text string to a number. So to do that, we're going to use parse float. All right, so uh, seconds.text content gets parse float. What do we want to change from text into a number? We want to change the text content of the seconds variable. Okay, and how do we want to change it? We want to add one. Oops, we want to add one to it each time. All right. Cool. So I saw some orange text popping up, but it went away, so I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Maybe later it'll let us know if it's an issue. All right, so I think we we did the second part of this, our, our directions, which was add code to the count up function that increments the value of the hashtag second span by one each second. All right, so we did that. Now let's do the first step. Use interval to call the count up function or use set interval, excuse me. Okay, so let's ignore this text down here uh, because that looks like it's all about the stop countup function and I don't think we're worrying about that yet. So let's go, um, we wanna use set interval to call the countup function. Okay, so in order to do that, we're gonna use the window.setInterval method, set interval, and then, in order to call the function, um, we're going to go count up, and then we've called the function. Awesome. 
and yeah, it's the function is working. So we know that this this it's this seconds dot text comment content um, that's working really well that property, um, but this is going really fast, and we actually want to have it count up by one each second. So we need to set the interval by saying we want you to go up once per 1,000 milliseconds, which is one once per one second. All right, so that worked. Let's just add a semicolon there. And then, uh, yeah, that, that's going up. It appears this number is changing, and add, it's going up by one each second. Awesome. Hopper says, nice work. Great things are ahead. All right, on to the next step. This step says make it stop. In this step, you'll make the stop button work by figuring out what to change in the stop count up function, and you may have to change other parts too. All right, so after watching the video a few times, the last video, animating Dom with set, set interval and attempting this challenge more than once, uh, I know that we can set, um, we can stop this by using clear interval. So in my stop count up function, I'm going to say window.clear interval. And yeah, Let, so, so let's go back a little bit. What, what exactly am I doing? We have this stop count up function. Um, and we have this stop button variable. Okay, so the stop button variable is, is storing this element that has the stop button ID, which is right here, this button element. Um, and then we have this stop count up vari um, variable, this function. Uh, and we have this event listener that is on this stop button. So when this stop button is clicked, uh, we call this function stop count up. Cool. Okay. And in this stop count up function, we have added this method window dot clear in a rule, but we need to tell it still what we want it to clear. So what we want it to clear is this interval that we've set count up by 1000. In order to refer that to that, I'm going to create it, uh, store it in a variable. So I'm going to say variable stop watch gets window dot set interval count up by 1000. Um, all right. So what I want to tell it to clear here in the stop count up function is the stop watch variable. Cool. Um, all right, so Hopper has popped up and she says, awesome, moving forward. And our next step is to stop the clock. Click the button to make sure it stops the clock. All right, cool. Stop. Woohoo! All right, so 22 seconds have gone by and it's no, this number is no longer increasing, so we know that our method, our code worked. So. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you, Hopper, for your congratulations. You have made it so far. Uh, if, if you've done all of the challenges and you're almost to the end of this course, really, really awesome job. And I will see you in the next challenge, which is our very last challenge in this course. I'm super excited.